That's how you end up in like years and years of entanglement because you're steady trying to make excuses for his potential. When a guy knows what he has, he is not going to allow another guy to come into your life and sweep up what he has the potential to wipe up. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. This is my second time filming this. First time, I wasn't really feeling it. And I don't know if it's because I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Drinking a little bit and my words are all over the place or what? Let's try this again. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel it's your girl like goddess welcome back to my corner where i inspire others to dream more live more and become more today's video y'all is a chit chat it's a chit chat hey y'all see i got the wine y'all know i only bring the wine out when it's getting to the tea first of all before i move forward i would just like to acknowledge my beautiful background y'all i have been working so hard on my filming slash zen room i'm so proud of myself and i have been documenting the process so y'all will get that video coming soon make sure you subscribe if you're clicking my video for the first time hey what's up hello we do you know lifestyle videos we do vlogs we do chit chats advice videos all that stuff so yeah if you're new and at the end of this video if you decide that you want to stick around I have a lot of content coming for you guys and yeah you in quarantine so you might as well just subscribe because since you ain't got nothing to do and if you're a returning subby hey girl welcome back or whatever so y'all today we're gonna be talking about breakups we talking about how to break up boss up move up all that good stuff so I don't have any like formal talking points for y'all I felt it in my spirit to record this video this was not a planned video I just thought of this idea last night I feel it in my heart to record a video, I'm gonna do just that. Y'all, I got my notes over here in the corner. I have my laptop sitting right here on my computer desk. Take a look to make sure that I'm staying on track because like I said, I've been drinking. I ain't gonna hold you, this this, this, this wine is all right. Got a little thump in it, got a little swing. The first major thing I wanted to touch on when it comes to breaking up, y'all, I feel like if I was watching this video and I was trying to get my life situated when it came to a breakup, the first thing that I would wanna know, do I really need to break up? Like when is it the proper time to break up, right? You know when it's time to break up because your intuition will just tell you that it's time let me tell y'all something a woman's intuition is always right and don't mistake your intuition for insecurity you know and i know that if you click on this video you probably already know what you gotta do you just contemplating it or you just waiting on a certain sign I'll tell you something baby girl baby girl baby girl this is your sign okay and now i don't know everybody's situation so i'm not trying to like generalize all relationships in this video maybe you've been back and forth with this person for so long who knows that it's time when you start to feel like you're asking for too much and when you start to feel like you're a burden in the relationship. Why waste another minute in this treacherous backstabbing 2020 in a relationship with a person that act like they don't appreciate you? Personally, I feel like 2020 is the year for us to just get ourselves together. Like, I feel like God cares about us enough that he knew that the world just kind of needed this big, gigantic pause button. A pause button meaning you taking a second to get your life together, get back in school, get back to that project that you love. Use this time to just really like like focus on yourself and get yourself together and really use this time to just like detox detox bad friends detox bad relationships and anyway we're not talking about friendships that's another video for another day but when it comes to relationships y'all seriously like i think you know and i know when you feel it in your gut when you really feel it like deep down in your core it's time sis it's time i will also say like watch out for the cop out guys say things like just give me a little bit of time i'm just taking my time with you i don't know what i want but i don't want you to go nowhere i just want to focus on me but i want to keep you Around. Cop out, cop out, cop out. Run, run, run as fast as you can. He can't catch you because you're going to get a better man. Hey. <laughs> something about guys they will do just enough and they'll give you just a small glimpse of their potential just enough to keep you around you ever be in a situation where you be ready to leave a relationship and then they do something to like sweet you to the point where you be like okay i think he getting it together i think he getting it together no baby girl because then like a week or two weeks later he going right back to doing the same thing that you didn't like him doing when a guy wants to do it depending on who you are he's gonna do it for you and that's just that on that we're gonna get more into that later though a lot of times guys will do just enough because they just want to keep you around like they will give you minimal effort because you're allowing them to give you minimal effort like why are they going to buy the cow when they're getting the milk for free the best way to let a guy know what you need is to say it one time i'm not saying that this is for everybody but this is just my opinion this is my advice i'm not an expert i'm only speaking based on my own experiences say it one time because guess what they heard you the first time you are not a broken record don't let him get 
gave you mixed signals. You're not about to be out here going through your phone, texting your friends, asking your friends, what you think he mean by this? Okay, maybe he meant this, maybe he meant that. Your name is not Dora and we are not about to be on an exploration to figure out what this man wants, okay? Guys are very, very simple minded. When they know what they want and they know who they got in front of them, they act accordingly. Watch his consistency, y'all. If his actions don't meet up, it's time to cut it off. If you start to sound like a broken record or you or he starts to label you as naggy, you said it one too many times. It's time to get up out of there because at that point, he's taking advantage of the fact that she ain't going nowhere. She gonna stay around. She always says she gonna leave and then I'm gonna do a little something to keep her around. I'm gonna send her a gift. I'm gonna do a little something to make her believe in me just a little bit and then I'm gonna go back to doing my same boy stuff that I was doing before because I know she ain't going nowhere. You gotta let him see that you will walk out that door and seriously be okay without him. Listen, guys are going to do what they want for who they want and that's that on that. Y'all see what happened with money bag. Need I say more? I feel like as women, we tend to make excuses because we've seen a glimpse of their potential. You wouldn't talk to a car dealer on the phone, right? And, and they tell you, man, I got this nice car for you. It's like the newest car on the market. It drives real fast. Like it got all these crazy features to it. Would you send that dealer your money the moment he tells you that? Or are you gonna wanna go to the car dealership, cash drive the whip, Listen, I'm really feeling this wine right now. Are you gonna wanna go to the dealer, test drive the whip, look at the inside. You're gonna wanna know the car facts, like spit the car facts to me. I'm not about to invest in something when I have no idea what I'm getting into. So if you wouldn't invest into something that you've never seen before, then why would you give your time to a guy that has never showed you the true, the true man that he can be for you? I think it's because a lot of times our softness and our vulnerability gets taken advantage of. Listen, let me tell you something. You gotta keep your foot on his neck. That's how you end up in like years and years of entanglement because you're steady trying to make excuses for his potential. When a guy knows what he has, he is not going to allow another guy to come into your life and sweep up what he has the potential to wipe up. He's not gonna do it because he's gonna be like, yo, like she's a catch. Like why would I ever allow her to be out here and potentially get caught by another dude? Ladies, you are a limited item on the shelf. If you go into a store, you know that there's a release for like this new item that you really want, but there's only like 20 of these items, right? You're gonna do everything that you have to do. You're gonna wake up early on the day of the release of this item. You're gonna go stand in line. You're gonna save your money. You're gonna do everything that you have to do to make sure that you don't miss out on this item. If it comes around the first time, he gonna snatch that thing up. You know why? Because he don't know when it's gonna come around again. He don't know when that item is gonna be back in stock. I use that analogy to let y'all know that a guy is not gonna sit on a woman that has that good potential. If you're an adult, honestly, if we're adults, like why do we have to date for three to five, four, five, six years for you to know that I'm a good woman for you? Boss up out here, do what you gotta do. Put your big girl panties on, it's gonna hurt because maybe you've been in this relationship for a while. All in all, what I'm saying is that like, take the red flags for what they are. Honestly, like don't make an excuse for it. If it's a red flag, don't immediately be like, well, he probably just did that because of this. Especially if it's early. When they show you their true colors, believe it the first time. For the boss up piece of this video, what I will say is that like, just get back to what it is that you genuinely love doing. Like any project that you may have put off, get back to what you genuinely love because that's what's gonna instill that confidence in you again. Start working on that project. Start working on your body, girl. There is nothing better than a revenge body. Now that I've like decided that I wanna leave, how the heck do I cope with it? So one thing that I firmly believe in is out of sight, out of mind. I know it's gonna be hard, but you have to block him. It comes to a point where like, if you continue to allow a guy to do certain things to you, you have to value yourself enough to say that I'm not gonna deal with this. Is it gonna hurt? Yes. Is it gonna be hard? Yes. You're gonna think about like, oh my God, but all the history that we have, his mama love me, me and his sister real cool. Let me tell y'all something about letting guys go. When you let them go, you gotta let their family go too, sis. This was for somebody. This just came across my mind. This was for somebody. You gotta let him go. You gotta let his mama go. You gotta let his sister go. Let them go. Let them all go. You don't have no loyalty to because it's only gonna make it harder on you if you decide to stick around and still try to be in the family. I used to be the type of person that used to feel like, if I block you, then that means that you got the best of me. If I block you, then that means that like you won. But let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong with being real with yourself and saying, you know what? I have to block you because I know that emotionally, if I don't, if you text me, I'm going to respond. And it's not about leaving him on red and making him feel dumb and no, I want him to beg for me. Like nah, because guess what? You've already tried that and it hasn't worked. Like you have to be real with yourself. Like, 
Like you know and I know that if he texts you, you're not gonna have the proper emotional strength to not write him back because you care about him. You love him. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't like you blocking him. That doesn't make you weak. This is you setting a boundary because you know that this person is toxic enough. That if you continue to allow them to do these things in your life, it's only gonna continue to set you back. Keep your mind busy. Do things that allow you to be able to heal like you need to heal. You haven't given yourself that self love in a long time and you need that. Another unfortunate part about heartbreaks and you know, moving on is that it's gonna hurt. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you that it's gonna feel good and you're gonna feel like the best person in the world. You might have your days where you feel like, okay, like I'm the baddest chick like he ever had and like he'll never find another like me. Absolutely, he won't, baby girl, because you a prized possession. And like I said, you are irreplaceable. But at the same time, be real with yourself. It's, it's okay. Like you opened your heart up to another human and that person took advantage of that. So allow yourself to feel that raw feeling. Cry it out. You better blast all the Mary J music that you can, blast all the heartbreak music that you can. And then, after you do that, you get yourself together and be like, you know what? I'm the baddest. Like, this nigga's stupid. Like, he really just left the best thing that's ever walked into his life. Like, you know how dumb you're about to look? What to look dumb, boy? You're about to look dumb. Women, we check out mentally before men do. So like men, as long as they feel like they can still communicate with you physically, they feel like they still kind of got you right where they want you. Women, we will like mentally check out two months before we physically walk out of a relationship. Six months down the line, we might have a new boo and we out here living our best life and I'm looking dumb like, oh, so you just gonna move on that quick? You just forgot about what we had? Like, yeah, cause I was done with you a long time ago. I was just waiting for the right time to figure out when to leave you. Another really, really, really important piece that I want to say is to seek therapy. Like if you go through a really, really, really tough relationship, you have to try to figure out how to cope from that. Because if you don't, guess what? You're going to now pour those things over into your next relationship. And what you really don't want is to become that female that every relationship that you get in, you're now blaming your ex for everything that's wrong with you. Like, nah, we not about to do that, sis. You're going to be in a healthier space to be able to like know how to respond when you're in the next relationship. And it's going to make it easier to walk away from the BS next time so that it doesn't happen again but i hope this video was enough to just like give you that confidence to say okay you know what like it's time to break up and it's time to boss up and it's time to move up i'm gonna pray for you sis if you're watching this and you're dealing with something like mentally whether it be like domestic violence and you feel like that's why you don't want to walk away because you're scared seek help you know talk to your friends talk to your family members talk to a professional listen girl you got this feel empowered. I hope this video made you feel empowered. I hope this video made you feel inspired. I'm going to end this video on that note. If you liked it, if you enjoyed this chit chat, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.